Hello everyone again, this is Emma. Welcome to online video course Piano Well. Today we're going to talk about time and tempo and we're working with my training book and let's open it on page 55 and this is lesson number 13. So time is ability to feel pulsation while playing and this pulse organizes and unites sounds in space. And at first glance, it may seem it may seem to, to be not such important musical mean of expression, but um, this lack of sense of pulse while playing can lead to many many mistakes and problems that students have. Um, the 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 most common one is student cannot choose the right tempo before playing the piece. So he and listener could feel emotional image of the music. Or um, they cannot keep steady beat while playing and sometimes when they make um, crescendo they start making a chirando. And we is doing end, and they making rallentando. And uh, on the other hand, they cannot actually make correct um, written of the end when it's written. <laughs> um, and after some tempo deviations, they cannot enter the original tempo in the right time. So students have to learn how to control time while playing. And as soon as they master this technique, it only helped them to express better their ideas. Um, for example, uh, it really helps to feel better phrasing and form in music while playing, or to avoid uh, some unnecessary tempo deviation while making Mm, melodies with musical speech and phrasing because as we know if we don't feel this pulsation it it only lead to a great tempo deviation that we have to avoid in order to keep like the wholeness of the piece so I may compare this feeling of time with a heartbeat we all know that we live as soon as our heart is beating. <laughs> so the same is in music. When you feel pulsation in sound patterns, in sound texture, uh, you make music be alive. And as soon as all your sound ideas are in time, they start weaving in space. So even though time and tempo is one of the last musical means of expressions it's like a final stroke that make uh, all your ideas, all your sound ideas, intonation, phrasing, form basically most of the basically the whole world that you imagine <laughs> it makes it be life it makes it be uh, full of breath and uh, live in time. Um, so let's come back to the book and let's take a look at the assignments in the book. Okay. So yeah, it's page 55 and this is assignment number one, where basically we make two steps. First is, um, as you can see in the table, we still make everything in the phrasing, at least try to make in phrasing. And so what we actually do, we emerge, um, we kind of mix emotional image and tempo and feeling of time, feeling of pulse and all together it creates like a new kind of feeling 
about music. And if you merge actually tempo with emotional image, now you cannot just say slow tempo or lively tempo, faster tempo. This feeling of tempo um, starting has some uh, particular uh, emotional color. For example, okay, you will feel that. Um, so um, let's come back. <laughs> So it says, um, feel pulsation in every other note. So in this sequence, in this phrase, you need to feel this pulsation. Again, you're feeling this pulsation, not really like, like tapping, you know? It's like I said, it's kind of deep, like, like a heartbeat. So if you wait for a second and just listen to your heartbeat, this is kind of, pulsation I'm talking about. So try to create the same pulsation on every other note in this um, in this phrasing. So here way in, in this case we're talking about joy so you tune into joy and if you imagine this feeling of joy with this kind of pulsation it gives you a certain mood and for example if you a little bit speed up this pulsation and make it a little bit faster than this tempo it's already in this kind of emotional image, in joy. You can say that it's like anticipation of something, it's very exciting. So you really start feeling emotional color of, uh, of, t of tempo. Again, tempo is just a variant of time. So basically we're talking about time, time is um, pulsation and when you increase or decrease the speed of time here comes tempo <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so um, I'm not gonna sing in these videos because um, as you know I get sick and then I get this problem with my voice and this morning I tried to sing and that was terrible <laughs> And still, I really cannot uh, just slow down and stop making my videos because I just cannot sleep, you know. <laughs> if I go to sleep and I'm thinking, okay, if I'm going to postpone it for another week, I will, I will get crazy. <laughs> I cannot do anything. <laughs> so I have to make these videos. Actually, I already sang a lot in previous videos, so I hope you all forgive. So I'm gonna play just with both hands. So basically I'm, I'm making the second step of this section how to do when I imagine both hands in sound texture and I'm gonna imagine actually right hand a little bit closer uh, to make it kind of unbalanced. And then um, I'm tuning into this feeling of joy and I'm gonna choose quite lovely tempo and now in this tempo in this sound texture in my mind I'm gathering weight and I'm playing um, trying to follow the phrasing okay I still can't play phrasing, sound texture in the limits of time. 
it's really hard you kind of you know but you will get used to this so now I'm gonna do the same with a uh, feeling of sorrow so and again it changes something in feeling of tempo when I do this in opposite feeling when I do this in sorrow so I'm gonna play a solo now together you make emotional image uh, form and time so now you mix all together and for example in the first um, you make introduction so it's unit of the feeling of joy um, make it like a story and you starting with introduction and then you give a certain time for this story and then you continue the same with beginning development rising to climax climax and conclusion and you do this with feeling of joy and then you do this with feeling of sorrow you tune into sorrow introduction and you give it certain time and start playing um, I don't know, I actually never tried to play it at home all the way through. Maybe I can, let's see how it goes. If I don't like it, I will just cut it. <laughs> okay, let's try. I'm gonna make it enjoy. In a joy. The whole story. in this silly phrasing <laughs> actually when you play it in the music it's much more interesting <laughs> I just try to make it simple This is one of the reasons. 
Um, so okay, make this lesson, and I will talk to you in my in my next video. Bye.